Here are the five ways you can zoom in on a clip in Final Cut Pro and go from a noob to a pro in less than five minutes. I've been editing with Final Cut Pro for over 10 years, and these are some heavily underrated tips and tricks I wish I knew when I first started. By the end of this video, you'll be zooming in your sleep, editing faster, and producing higher quality videos. In this video, I'm going to share several simple techniques that can come in handy when you need to get a closer look at something. At the end, I'll share a drag and drop method for zooming that will save you at least 15 minutes in your next video. All right, method number one, zoom by scaling. Select your clip in Final Cut Pro and go to the Video Inspector. Under the Transform section, increase Scale All and you'll see in the viewer that you're zoomed in on your clip. You can change the X and Y position to zoom in to another spot. There's a faster way to zoom than using the Transform parameters. Reset your clip by clicking on the down arrow in the Transform section and selecting Reset Parameter. Now in the viewer, right click and select Transform. Now you can zoom in and move around with your mouse. To zoom in, drag the blue corner handles. This won't stretch or squish your video. Click anywhere on your video to move it around and use the middle circle and handle to rotate your clip. This works really well if you just need to cut to a zoomed in part of your clip. But if you want to add some movement and polish to it, you'll need to animate it, which I'll show you in a bit. First, I want to show you method number two, cropping. Select your clip and in the video inspector, change crop type from trim to crop. Next, use the left, right, top, and bottom sliders to zoom in on your clip. Moving sliders to the left into the negative value makes it just like you're moving the clip. But if you move to the right, it will zoom in. I think cropping in the viewer is faster and easier to understand. Reset your clip by clicking on the down arrow in the crop section and selecting reset parameter. Now in the viewer, right click and select crop at the bottom of the viewer, click on crop, click and drag on the blue corners to zoom in and out. Click and drag anywhere in the crop area to move around and then click done. You'll notice that the crop values in the video inspector have changed. That's because they're tied to the changes you made in the viewer and you can use those parameters to fine tune your zoom. These zooms look good, but can be jarring and can look more professional with some animation and movement. For method number three, I'll show you how to create custom animations with keyframes. Don't worry, it's really easy. I'll walk you through it step by step. And after, I'll show you a shortcut for zoom animations that don't require keyframes. Select your clip and go to the beginning by pressing the up arrow. Bonus tip, to go to the end of your clip, just press the down arrow. Right click on your video in the viewer, select transform and click on the add keyframe button in the upper left corner. Move forward 10 frames by pressing shift plus right arrow. Drag any of the blue handle corners to zoom in and click and drag on your video to change the position. This creates new keyframes for scale and position. This little chevron symbol shows where your video starts and the arrow shows where it will end. The red line shows the path your clip will take while zooming in. Press done and check out the zoom you've made. Ooh, nice work. You can adjust the timing by selecting your clip and pressing Control V to open the keyframe editor. These dots represent your keyframes. Click and drag on them to change the timing and make the zoom slower. If you need to change your zoom or position, just click the transform button in the video inspector. Make sure you're on a keyframe by clicking the next or previous keyframe buttons in the upper left corner of the viewer and make your changes. You did it! See, keyframes aren't that bad. But if you want a keyframe free life, then check out method number four, the Ken Burns effect. This effect is named after the documentary filmmaker Ken Burns who popularized the pan and zoom effect with historic pictures in his movies. Select your picture and click on the arrow next to the transform button in the bottom left corner of the viewer. Select crop and then click on Ken Burns in the bottom middle of the viewer. The green box and plus sign shows where you'll start and the red box and plus sign shows where your zoom will end. You can change the size with the corner handles. Make the green start box the same size as your clip and make the end red box smaller to zoom in and move it to your focus point. The arrow shows the direction of your zoom and movement. Keep in mind that this animation happens over the entire duration of your clip and you can't change that. Click the play button in the upper left corner to preview your zoom. Ooh, so smooth. If you want to zoom in like Ken Burns and zoom out without keyframes, then you're gonna love method number five, a custom template. I made a plugin for Final Cut Pro called Tutorial Pop and it includes a template that allows you to zoom in and out with a single click, all without keyframes. Here's how it works. Once Tutorial Pop is installed, 
drag and drop the zoom template on top of your clip. Play it back and you'll see it automatically zoomed in. The rectangle controls where you zoom into. Click and drag the rectangle to change the position. Click and drag the corner handles to change how far in or out you zoom. Not only will this zoom in automatically, but it will also zoom out at the end. In the publish parameters, you can turn off the zoom in or out and you can control the animation speeds. Tutorial Pop comes with a bunch of other tools, titles, effects, and transitions, perfect for making tutorial videos like this one. I'll put a link in the description and you can check it out if you'd like. Now that you've learned how to zoom in on a clip, you may want to check out this video my buddy Chris made called How to Overlay Clips in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.